all right hello how's it going so uh, I want to show you guys in this video um, we're going to assume you watched my uh, last video and you saw how to record a baseline now I'm starting with a baseline here and I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it up and get it ready to loop and then how to loop it okay so two things we have to do to clean up the baseline one is when you play typically your playing is gonna have a little bit of sloppiness to it and sometimes that's fine sometimes that might actually be what you want um, but sometimes you know for something like a bass line where it's supposed to really hit with the drums at the exact same time as the drums um, you probably don't want that so we're gonna do something called quantization to this that's a very strange word um, let me just show you it but uh, what quantization means is it will force the notes that you play to the closest uh, beat that you choose, okay? So if you don't know a lot about music, um, you might have heard these words before. This is a whole note, a half note, a quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth, and then these are 32nd and 64th. Those are really tiny, fast notes, okay? These are really slow notes, whole note, half note, even kind of quarter note. Um, so for quantization, what I usually choose is to slide everything to the closest eighth note, okay? Um, because it's kind of right in the middle. So it's, the quantization is not assuming that I played super fast notes. It's not assuming I played super slow notes that take up a whole measure or a half a measure. Uh, it's, it's assuming, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of choosing sort of something right in the middle. And I find that typically that's going to get the best results. I'm not going to go too much deeper into what that means right now, but let's just look at what it does. So if I zoom way in on this, let's see, where was my plane a little sloppy? So here, this note and that note over there, if you notice, there's a very faint gray line right here. This note, if it was perfectly played, should snap pretty much exactly to that gray line. And then this one, I think, is kind of right on the money. I think I got lucky there. This one is also late, though. Here's that gray line. Here's where it's at. Okay? So quantization is going to take and automatically slide those right there. So I can do it um, just to these notes so you can see. Oh, boy. I should have just left my... Anyways, you can see the very edge of this one. Quantize one eighth, and I'll click this, and we'll see it slide. There we go. You should have seen that. Perfect. Very nice and tight. Right, playing right with the beat. And let's just go ahead and do that to the rest of them. Edit, quantize one eighth. And now it's time to listen to it because sometimes quantization can make the wrong choice. It can slide it to the wrong beat. And so sometimes the easiest way to fix that, well, you can always go into the piano roll here and fix it by hand by sliding things around. But um, sometimes the easiest way to fix it is just to hit your undo button up here and try to quantize using a different number. Okay. Again, I'm just going to use one eighth and let's hear it. It sounds, sounds right to me. Okay, cool. <clears throat> this note over here was actually a practice note. I don't need that note. So let's look at the next part. After quantizing, making sure that your uh, notes that you played lined right up with the beat, the next thing to do is to cut off the junk from the beginning and end of your performance. Okay, so here's the simplest way to do this. We cut the beginning first and then we slide the rest of it to uh, the very beginning of the song. And I'll tell you why in a second. So the way you cut something, and by the way, you can quantize from out here. I happen to be in the piano roll, which you can get to by hitting edit right here or just double clicking on it. There we go. That's how you do it nowadays. But you can also just right click here and choose quantize. Um, it's, at least I think. I know you can. Oh, well, it's not showing up for me right now. That's okay. So here's how you split. You have to move this uh, purple line, which is called a playhead. And that word is the same whether you're using a music app or a video editing tool. 
you move this purple line to where you want it to split and then you just choose edit split region and there we go it just split it we can now see this kind of white gap between these two pieces so all I got to do now is just select the piece I don't want and hit backspace okay and it's gone cool so now I can take this chunk and slide it to the beginning let's play So that would be a natural point to loop it, right at the end of measure four. And same with at the end of measure eight. Okay, so where this says five, that means the start of five, which is also the end of four. You get that? This says nine, that's also the end of eight. So I happen to know, because I've worked in music a long time, that music is generally divided into groups of four. Okay, or multiples of four, so four, eight, 16, 32. Um, typically when someone says, you know, they got bars or whatever, a bar is typically something like eight measures, maybe 16, all right? But anyways, let's just split again at the end of eight, because that's, I want to loop a chunk of eight, or maybe if you played something shorter, you might want to loop a chunk of four, but those are typically what you're going to be looping, okay? Maybe 16. So again, just edit, split region delete the part I don't want and then we just loop this like we loop anything else we just grab this handle right here in the top corner hold down your mouse and drag and there we go cool and so now that will loop perfectly aligning with our beat over and over okay and you can do the same if you're playing chords on top of it with the piano something like that okay it would be the exact same thing record quantize Cut away the junk and loop it. I forget what notes I played, so this will probably sound awful. I think I finally did something I like at the end. So again, I just want those last two I did. So that would start at 13 here. So again, I can just split, edit split. Whoop, I lost a note. That happens sometimes if you're not quantized first. So let's go to edit quantize, is it there? No, it's not, what happened? You used to be able to quantize from the menu. Oh, I know, you gotta click the edit button here. There we go. You, you hit this little edit button, quantize one eighth. I actually played those kind of staggered on purpose, so I got to go back in and fix that. But anyways, first things first, let's split. I just right click to split that time. You can also find it in the edit menu. And this, I want this to be eight measures because I want this gap of empty space after it. The other way to do this, you can just drag the end right there and it'll snap to the closest measure. Cool. So I'm gonna put back those staggered bits. Here's how you do that. If you, if you wanna manually edit something, you go into the piano roll, so just double click on the chunk. If you wanna manually change one or two of your notes, here's how you do it. You can just grab a note and move it around like that. Okay. You can move it up and down to change it to different notes or if I zoom way in here, way, 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 way in, the grid here gets smaller and smaller. So now I can change this by just a little bit. Let's listen to that. Yeah, that's good. And I'll do the same thing here. There we go. Let's hit play. See, it matches with everything else. Those little dimples on the end, that tells me if those are all lining up, that tells me these should all line up in terms of how long the loops are. Cool. So that's it. Save your project when you are done working. Always remember to save. 
and enjoy. You've now um, added a little bit more to your song. Good job. <laughs>